My daughter has a medical condition known as type 1 diabetes. This needs careful management and monitoring throughout the day, every day. There are many other children in schools across England who have other medical conditions such as asthma, epilepsy, migraine, celiac disease and many others. All these children need care every day to keep them safe. Jenny was out doing her cycling proficiency course when she had a major hypoglycemic attack. The staff that were running the course had no idea she was type 1 diabetic. I did a bit of research to find out what was in place to protect children like Jenny. I soon found out that a school, by law, has to have a medical conditions policy in place. This medical conditions policy outlines everything that's needed to be put in place in the school to make sure that children like Jenny are looked after, cared for, and their needs are put first, and they are then safe. I did a bit of research in the local area as well, and went out to some other schools and asked them whether they knew about a medical conditions policy, and whether they had one in place and what it was for. All the schools said they didn't have one, and they weren't aware that they needed one. This puts children's lives at risk. If Jenny's school had had a medical conditions policy in place, this incident would not have happened. Jenny still panics a bit now when she starts feeling low at school. She panics because the teachers may not even be aware she is type 1, what to do in the situation, or that they may make her walk. Please sign this petition. The petition is asking the minister, Edward Timpson, just to write to every school in England to let them know that they need to have a medical conditions policy in place. It not only does that, this petition also asks that Ofsted check the policies are in place in each school when they do their inspections and that they're being followed properly. It's a simple thing to do. Sign, share, spread the word and many, many children and families throughout England will be thankful.